Hi, this is Keshav Murthy, architect for the Informix SQL Group. Today I'll be talking about the new features in IDS version 11 release. Let's look at uh, the sample of features that we have in uh, IDS 11. Uh, we have improvements in the language, uh, syntax and semantics. Uh, our optimizer has uh, improvements in terms of uh, statistics, uh, automatic statistics selection for, for the create index process improvements in the explain file and a new access method called index self join access method. We have improvement in the utility features. Uh, I'll be talking about the new types and indices we have in IDS and also improvements to our uh, stored procedure language and uh, additional XML support to IDS as well. So let's get started with the new features in IDS 11. One thing to note before I get started is the details of each of these features are written in IBM Redbook for Informix Dynamic Server version 11. The Redbook is available for free at ibm.com slash redbooks. So let's look at the three features in the SQL language. First thing we have done is to improve the support for subqueries in the from clause, enhancements to IDS distributed queries, and enhancements to IDS trigger feature. Previously in IDS, if you had to issue a subquery in your from clause and treat the result set of the subquery as a virtual table, you had to use the IDS proprietary syntax and semantics called collection derived table. Uh, so basically what we what you had to do was to map the result set from a, a subquery into a multi set and map that multi set into a virtual table starting with version 11 that's unnecessary you can simply issue a select statement in your from class and map the result set that means the projection uh, column columns in the uh, subquery the columns that are projected out of the subquery as uh, columns for our show table. In the first query here, the subquery is select A comma B from table T. So the results resulting columns A comma A comma B are mapped into columns X comma Y in virtual table VT. So the rest of the examples in this page uh, illustrate complex usage or more complicated usage of uh, subqueries in the from class uh, in IDS. So once you map the result set into the uh, into a virtual table, you can use them in a join clause, you can uh, use them in uh, uh, subsequent subqueries just like any other table. So within the subquery uh, itself you can use uh, uh, pretty much any standard uh, uh, select statement. Uh, anything that conforms conforms to uh, select statements that are supported by Informix uh, database server. In the first example you see the usage of uh, uh, order by, in the second example you, you can uh, in the third uh, select statement uh, you can see the usage of ANSI uh, jo join within the subqueries in the select, select clause and uh, multiple levels of uh, nesting thereafter. Uh, and the last example shows how you can invoke a stored procedure or a function and uh, map the results of this uh, function into a virtual table. Uh, if it's a function, it always uh, will return a s uh, single value. If it's written in C or Java, if uh, the function or the procedure is written in uh, Informix SPL stored procedure, you can return more than one values and each of the values in the uh, we, uh, results that can be mapped into a column in the virtual table. So that's the example in the uh, in the last uh, that's the last example in the slide. And uh, another enhancement in IDS version 11 is you do not need to write a table function or a function that returns a result set uh, to invoke a function from a uh, from a from class. So simply put you can invoke any function 
whether it returns a scalar value that means a single value or a result set from the uh, from clause of a select statement and map it into a virtual table so let's move on to the next uh, feature uh, so IDS has supported distributed queries starting uh, with 7 or maybe even earlier. Uh, with IDS uh, 9, uh, IDS sup supported new data types uh, like Boolean and long vac hair and it also supported uh, new dis object relational data types uh, called distinct data types, opaque data types, and, uh, uh, collection data types, uh, set, multi-set, list, and also uh, row data type. Uh, in uh, IDS 10, we enhanced the support for distributed queries so that if you have multiple databases on the same database, you can query data belonging to these new object relational types across the databases of the same instance. Implicit support was given for Boolean, LVAR, CAR and all the built-in uh, data types and if you had other data types like the opaque data types you had to cast that into one of the supported data types like LVAR, CAR what we have done in IDS version 11 is you can invoke distributed queries in IDS instances across multiple Informix instances of version 11 even if you have columns of data type boolean, LVAR, CAR, distincts of supported data types means distincts of the basic data types like uh, uh, decimal, flo float, integer, intent, so on and so forth and also distincts of bool uh, boolean and L LVAR CAR. In addition, we support distributed queries or we support invocation of C and Java UDRs that means user-defined routines across multiple instances of Informix database server. So these are the enhancements to IDS. So this enables uh, quite a bit of flexibility uh, in terms of uh, designing your schema and going across uh, multiple instances to fetch the data uh, that you have that you already have with, with an IDS. Uh, this is supported for distributed queries from IDS 11 to other IDS uh, 11 servers. If you have d data in the older servers, uh, you still cannot issue da distributed queries either from the old server to the new server or from the new server to the old server. So basically what we are saying is it's time to upgrade to IDS version 11. So here's an example of a distributed query that's uh, uh, using uh, uh, LVAR CAR column in its projection list and the Boolean column in its um, predicate list. So basically you can pretty much use LVAR CAR, Boolean or any distinct data types uh, or, uh, or any of the basic data types in your distributed query starting from, uh, from IDS 11. Okay, let's talk about uh, the trigger enhancements in IDS version 11. Previous to IDS version 11, IDS supported uh, a single insert trigger, a single delete trigger. It supported multiple update triggers but only one update trigger per table or if you choose to have multiple update triggers that means one or one uh, update trigger for one or more columns once you created a update trigger for one update trigger for one col columns, you couldn't create another update trigger for that column. So now with IDS uh, version 11, you can create multiple uh, update triggers on a single or uh, combination thereof. Uh, similar situation with uh, 
select triggers you can create uh, multiple select triggers for 